Hitler sporting a Marxist beard, a record sleeve bearing a swastika and proud workmen with hammers in hand. In 1984, just a few years after the death of Yugoslav dictator Josip Broz Tito, these artists caused a storm around the world, reworking the symbols associated with the world's most notorious dictators. Dubbed underground and radical, the Slovenian artists formed a video section that seduced the world of advertising and television. They kind of uh, uh, emptied the, uh, the meaning of the, of the, of the symbols uh, when they jacked juxtaposed them together and they inf invited people to, to fill them with the meanings again. So uh, of course we can say that this kind of juxtaposition can be provocative even today. Program makers like the newly broadcasting MTV were captivated by the new exotic style. NSK continues to spark controversy with its ambiguous use of political and nationalist imagery. This summer, their rock group, Laibach, has been invited by North Korea to perform a series of concerts. It was everything produced in, 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 in Yugoslavia, an ex communist uh, country, and it was also interesting because you know, I mixed together this avant garde, the German film avant garde, and then this uh, New York independent cinema, and also the Russian uh, filmmakers. So I, make, I put everything together and it was something new. The group says it's a way to continue their artistic exploration. While some accuse the rockers themselves of being fascists, others argue their work is a critique of totalitarianism. North Korea is, uh, the way we see it, is, it is the utopian experiment. It is a utopian state and uh, we always felt really well in any kind of utopia. After Slovenia declared independence from former Yugoslavia, the group decided to form its own nation, the NSK State of Time, based on aesthetics rather than political ideology. And they continue to inspire strong allegiances, having issued more than 15,000 passports.